All right, good afternoon everyone. Uh, today I'm gonna open up and sort of compare the four different varieties that I have in my tree. Uh, this one right here is an unowned variety. I bought this one at the swap meet or the flea market, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, so I don't know what it is, but just looking at the, I don't know, the part where the flower used to be, it's uh, somewhat closed compared to this one opened up. On this one, I accidentally broke it when I was cleaning it, and this one is sort of closed as well. All right, so unknown variety. Let's see what it looks like in the inside. Hopefully none of them come out looking pretty messed up because of the leaf-footed bugs or leaf leg bugs. So the fruit, I mean, as you can see, it's not that bad. The seeds themselves um, are a bit harder to chew. Um, but I mean, if you really try, you can eat through them. Um, so it looks pretty colorful, not that bad. Now this one is a wonderful pomegranate. I got this one from Home Depot. And that's how we know it's called wonderful pomegranate because it has the label that said wonderful pomegranate. So let's see if it stays up. It doesn't want to, okay. Now an interesting story, um, when my daughter was in kindergarten um, she had a color a banana and she colored it red uh, and the teacher told her no bananas are yellow so my daughter said no mine is red uh, the reason why my daughter colored it red was because we have red bananas or they're like a dark sort of purple color um, that's the tree right there or the banana plant right there so yeah, so she colored it. So she colored it red, and the teacher said she was wrong. Uh, my wife wasn't very happy uh, because there are red bananas out there. Um, so that was interesting. All right. So the next one, this one, I don't know what the what it's called, um, but it is yellow in the inside. Let me prop it up real quick. All right, so it is yellow in the inside. Um, it's not sweet like the unknown variety and the wonderful pomegranate. It does have a slight sweetness to it, but it's not very sweet. Now, one thing I don't like, well, actually, yeah. One thing I don't really like about them is that the seeds themselves, um, I don't know if you can sort of tell, but the actual seed itself, it's pretty big. And not only is it big, but it's also pretty hard. So this is the only one that I have that um, I actually spit the seeds um, just because they're so big and they're pretty strong uh, to chew on. Here we go. Eh, not the prettiest, but you know what I'm doing. And the last one, now I got this one from my, my mom's house. Um, she gave me a cutting, I grafted it, and it took. So on this one, you can't really tell how it looks. Let me prop it up again. Um, but it resembles a pomegranate called Eversweet, just based on the skin color and based on the inside as well so if you look at it it's nice uh, it's got like a pink color to it uh, so this one's very nice uh, it won't stain you uh, like I know some varieties might stain your clothing uh, but this one it won't stain you it is very sweet I like it the seeds aren't that bad um, 
So yeah, so I'm guessing it is an Eversweet pomegranate. Um, but here's an, another interesting story. This one came from my friend, uh, Manuel. Uh, he uh, raises chickens and you know has them as pets. Um, and he told me that sometimes when he buys a chicken, if someone says, you know, this chicken's part dinosaur, then all you can do is believe them because you really don't have an idea or a legit way of knowing unless you trust the person of what kind of variety of you know chicken it is so if you buy an animal that you know and they're saying hey this animal's part dinosaur um, then you can either believe them or not believe them uh, so in this case that's why I'm saying this one I have no idea of knowing what it is but I think it's in uh, Eversweet but if I was to let's say give it away to someone um, or sell it whatever and I say, hey, it's an Eversweet, guess what? They're gonna believe that it is an Eversweet uh, pomegranate. Um, so sometimes it's good to buy things. We actually know the name because you got it from like, uh, I guess you could say a legit source. But if you bought it or you got it as a gift from someone and they just say it's called this, it's called that, then all you're gonna, all you're going to go by is what they tell you it is. See, look at this one it's just white and yellow uh, sometimes it's hard for me to tell if they're ripe or not um, simply because they stay white throughout the whole time uh, the wonderful pomegranate it's nice this one's very very sweet I really do like it so don't worry none of this is gonna go to waste because I'm giving it to my I'm give it to my chickens and they're gonna you'll see they'll, they'll like them so different pomegranates, so don't think that there's only like one variety and that's it. Uh, like bananas, they're only yellow. Nope, they're different kinds. There's green ones, there's you know red ones, and you know, a variety of different shades. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna give these to my chickens. So even though I used it in the video, it's not going to waste. Thanks everyone.